It's a village of 9,000 men, women and children, all in desperate need of everyday supplies. Although San Miguel Duenas, a Guatemalan community surrounded by rural countryside, is just 15 kilometers from the tourist center of Antigua, it is one of the poorest in Latin America. It's quite poor. Most of the people we work with uh, don't have electricity and don't have running water. They have communal running water. The people here survive mostly on coffee and flour industries, and many homes are in disrepair. But for the third year, a dedicated group of Sahali secondary students is working to change that. Operation Guatemala, through developing world connections, is bringing the help needed to this small Central American town. We have four extra large suitcases full of donations, and we've got clothing, we've got school supplies, we've got uh, lots of shoes and soccer shoes and soccer balls. Um, the uh, teachers at our school went together and got a blood pressure monitor, which was requested by the community. We want you guys to know the area around where we're staying. While most teens will get to sleep in next week, these 12 Sahali students will spend their spring break doing charitable work and immerse themselves in a whole new world. We're going to be seeing some kids and I think some conditions that are going to be quite shocking to us. Um, we have brought down actually some care packages for the really rural kids who don't even get to go to school. For 10 days, the team will lend impoverished villagers a helping hand. They'll spend part of their days building a home for a family in need, spread literacy and do activities with the children, such as finger knitting, arts and crafts and playing soccer. Ultimately, I think the experience helps them to understand uh, global events in a whole new way. It also gives them a lot of understanding about themselves. Keegan Marchand is following in his brother's footsteps. He will be the third sibling in his family to embark on this eye-opening journey. They've had nothing but, nothing but good things to say about the trip, so um, I'm, I'm really excited to go, yeah. Making a difference in a poverty-stricken community takes hundreds of hearts to make it work. But with the generosity of a small group of students, lives will be brightened, not only for residents of San Miguel Duenas, but for these teenagers as well. But I'm expecting to see some pretty impoverished people, and um, I'm expecting it to kind of give me a reality check on what I have here and how lucky I am. A volunteer trip for myself is really important because I think it's going to be a life-changing experience.